okay now i'm going to explain you what i have pasted in the chart okay the first is a what is a multiplication yes what is a multiplication i have told you the in, in uh, before itself the uh, need of multiplications why the addition and subtraction is not enough for the future calculation i have told you isn't it so what in this book pattern i'm just going with this book pattern so what they are telling means defining the multiplications i've told you before what is the need of multiplication here they are telling what is multiplication okay i will explain you multiplication is one of the four basic operations of elementary arithmetic so what they are they are representing the it's a elementary arithmetic so elementary arithmetic means it is a basic calculation in the mathematics what they are it is a four basic operations what are the four basic operations in the elementary arithmetic in a mathematics means the first one is an addition of course it's a addition second one is a subtraction third one is a multiplication fourth one is a division so this is what a four basic operation in a elementary arithmetic why they are telling it's elementary means yes we want to be very clarified we want to know every basic of these four operation in our elementary level itself we are going to finish it because if you are going to very higher classes like 8th standard 9th standard you, the ma'am will not keep on telling very single points for example if for you have a huge problems at one point they having a 20 into 5 means the, the ma'am will be put directly the exact uh, uh, result here so she will not going to make some rough pages here 20 into 50 so she will not make you a very detailed explanation when you are at 8th standard so at elementary level itself you should be very concentrated and you should be very well versed in your basic four operations addition subtraction multiplication and division so okay so it's very much needed okay so next point i will read you okay it is a, it is commonly defined as a repeated addition yes it is a multiplication is a repeated addition in my uh, last example sir i have told you one cost of one product is 2500 cost of one product is 2500 i am buying a 20 products for a same cost i am buying a 20 product for a same cost so the total amount is so what is the total amount so I don't want to keep on repeating the addition. For example, I don't want to keep on repeating the two thousand five hundred for twenty times. I don't want to keep on repeating the two thousand five hundred for twenty times. Instead of repeating the addition, I'm just uh, learning the multiplication. I'm going to make it very simple at a one step. This is what they are telling. It is commonly defined as a, a repeated addition. Okay, so keep on repeating addition. I'm going to make a multiplication in a one single step. Okay, so next point: when you multiply, you are increasing a number repeatedly. What I'm saying, they are again mentioning multiplication is adding something more than once. For instance, they are telling some example for your uh, uh, second and third standard level. They are telling an example. For instance, if you eat four piece of candy. Listen, children. If you are eating a four piece of candy, then you eat another four, then four more again. You can multiply what amount of totally what amount of candy you are eating. For example, they are telling. See here, how many candies are there? Four candies are there. Okay, the first four candies your uh, your father is giving. Just uh, you know, open your wrapper and eat it. Your father giving your four chocolate, isn't it? Okay, your father is giving your four chocolate or candy. I'm just I'm just putting as an F. Okay, four candy. 
again without knowing that your father giving a four candy for you your mother giving again uh, giving a, a four again four candies without knowing or uh, or unknowingly your grandparents are giving again four chocolate because the grandparents always very liberal with the grand uh, children isn't it okay so your father giving a four chocolates your mother giving again four chocolate your grandparents is giving another four chocolate i'm just including a one more thing your uncle also giving again four chocolates and again your friends is giving again your four chocolates see how many fours are there 1 2 3 4 5 okay now you want to calculate how many chocolates are there in your hands okay or if you have eaten how many chocolates you have eaten so how many chocolates you will have means the 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 4 so if i form means you want to leave the finger four in the mind four in the finger after four five six seven eight isn't it And then again, he eight, eight in the mind, four in the finger. You will leave the finger, and you keep on adding. What we are, what I am saying means just avoid the addition. If you have learned the multiplication, how many fours are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five fours, five fours. How many fours are there? Five fours. So five into four, twenty. See here. how i made the calculation very simple instead of adding a 2 to isn't it it's very easy so very easy but you should be very careful how many five why i am putting four five and why i am putting four you should be very careful so one more time telling see here these uh, that uh, father also giving a four chocolates mother giving a four chocolate grandparents giving a four chocolates uncle giving a four chocolates and your friend is giving a four chocolate that everybody is giving a same amount of number number of chocolate here same number of uh, number is repeatedly coming so in if, if there is a same number means you can go with the multiplication now for example your mother and your grandparents is giving a five five chocolates now i cannot put one 2 3 4 i cannot make a multiplication for a whole number so i'm just going to take a common numbers so here 2 5 and here how many fours are there three fours are there isn't it one 2 3 4. so three fours are there and how many fives are there two fives are there So three into four is twelve. So five two into five is ten. So total amount is twenty two. Okay, listen carefully. So in before I have uh, just taken the example that everybody giving your four chocolate, but I have made some uh, uh, changes. Why I am saying means the multiplication is uh, will, will be work out when the numbers are same. Or the value of product is same. Okay, where the numbers are same. So see here, your father now have changed the mother and grandparents giving a five five chocolates. So now see the common numbers means if I how many fours are there? Three fours are there. So I have three into four. I will make it as a twelve. How many fives are there? Two fives are there. Ten. So next adding the twelve and ten, I have got twenty two. So totally I have twenty two chocolate. So here. in this situation the multiplication will definitely work out okay you have a question so 3 4 3 4 means is not a very a big addition or it's not going to take any amount of time more amount of time it will do not going to take a more amount of time i can make it addition as simple why i need to uh, here want to do multiplication yes of course your question is correct I am just telling a uh, only a three four. If I am telling a fifty four or sixty five four, there is a sixty five person, sixty five person giving a four chocolates. Okay, for sixty five person giving a four 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 chocolates. Then if you are going to put a sixty five four and going to make addition, no, just going to sixty five four. I am going to make a multiplication here. it is a easy calculation so here the multiplication is need actually okay so next 
so to make the multiplications uh, easy for you and make you more clearer they given a very good examples and actually uh, in the definition of multiplication itself they have told you it's a repeated addition it's a repeated addition multiplication means it's a repeated addition what so now we are going to see the background of multiplication background of multiplication means how the multiplication is actually working it's a full of addition it's actually addition how it is uh, defining at a, a one single step how we are making the multiplication in a very simple step instead of making the addition like a very big so we'll see that see here here there are uh, three groups see here here three groups isn't it so i'm just um, uh, having uh, i'm just he uh, here naming the group a b and c a group b group c group see here in the a group how many dogs are there four dogs are there i'm just making as a cross point in a b group how many dogs are there four dogs are there one two three and four okay so in c group how many dogs are there in a c groups four dogs are there okay children so how many groups totally how many groups I have three groups a b c i have three groups in each group in each group how many dogs are there four dogs are there so instead of calculating 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 instead of calculating like this instead of uh, keep uh, avoiding the repeated addition what in a multiplication they are telling means how many groups are there three groups are there in each groups how many dogs are there in each groups in each group how many four dogs so i'm just putting one four three groups in three groups uh, in the three groups how many dogs are there in each groups four dogs are there so 12 okay so now this is a very simple example that i am saying it's a three groups for example if i am taking 15 groups then of course the multiplication will be easy when comparing to the addition is it it children okay then i am giving another example okay another example see here we have a uh, five groups five groups i'm just uh, making 1 2 3 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 five. five groups okay so in each group how many elephants are there two elephants are there i'm just uh, representing as elephant as a e okay so in each group i have a elephant okay in each group i have a elephant uh, how many elephant in each group i have uh, have two two elephants in a one i have two elephants in a two group i have a two elephants in a three group i have a two elephants in a four group also i am having a same number of elephants and of course the five also having a same number of elephants so see here in a five groups in a five groups i am having a same number of elements so see here what the point i am just want to underline means see here in every in every group there are a Two two ele elephant. So in the two elephant means what is the meaning? Having a same number of uh, product or animals in our each and every group. So totally I am having how many groups are there? There are a uh, five groups. Okay, in each group how many elephants are there? Two elephants are there. So totally five groups. In each group how many elephants are there? Two elephants are there. So totally there are a uh, ten elephants. So five into two is ten elephants. So what in the point in the example they are clearly want to explain means 
and every multiplication behinding behind of every multiplications there is addition okay behind of every addition sorry every multiplication there is addition of course there is an addition so instead of making the repeated instead of avoiding the repeated addition how many twos i want to make it five twos so instead of making a uh, repeated addition i am just using the concept of multiplication i am just making a uh, calculation very very simple so but behind the multiplications not anything very differently we are not, not going to read so every multiplication the every multiplications there is an addition so that what they are coming to tell us okay so next point multiplication by 0 and 1 of course now we are going to uh, deal with the proper multiplication uh, we are going to words the proper multiplication 